I'm going to make some bread, but before I make the bread, I'm going to make the flour. So I've got, um, this is some uh, heritage wheat grown by Richard Cain at Broiter Gold. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, I've got a flour mill here. I like a, I like a gadget, so we're just going to do this. So just... That's, a, that's the flour made. Um, the same um, principle as it would have been in 1921, except the stone is electric power. So, so you've got this really nice fine flour here. So I'm going to make it, uh, make the make the, the bread and with the exact, with the ingredients that would have been used back then. So nothing, nothing fancy. Um, so earlier on I made some butter. And all I did was um, get my mixer with a whisk and really pretty much beat cream on, and it will separate naturally and you get your butter solids and you get your butter milk left over. Uh, just the, a word of white caution, if you are doing this, put like a tea towel over the top of it because you could end up with being, the house being sprayed with the butter milk, which isn't a good thing. Um, and then just a bit of salt, very, very important for bread, so about a teaspoonful of salt, give that a mix around. So when you make when you make butter, you're left with buttermilk. So we've got the buttermilk here. Um, I'm just going to make a well in the centre of this. Uh, before I do that, baking soda. So a couple of teaspoonfuls of baking soda. So baking soda would have been that would have been sort of revolutionary for bread baking. You know when that was developed. Um, and this is a traditional way. So this is sort of similar mixed if you're making a soda farl as well. I'm going to bake this. Um, okay, make a well in the centre. Now, I'm, I'm doing this only because I like this and I just put a wee bit of honey in the middle. Um, sometimes treacle, but uh, I just thought I, I like a bit of sweetness on my bread, not too much. Then the, the buttermilk. And we're just going to mix this to a nice, kind of loose dough, you know. So the whole point of this is that you're baking soda reacts with the, the baking powder or the, ba the baking soda reacts with the buttermilk and gives you gives you a nice um, just a nice um, this is what happens is you've got alkali from your baking soda you've got um, you've got the alkali from that you've got the acid from the buttermilk and the two give you carbon dioxide so there you are and that's where you get a nice big fluffy that's what you want there, a nice big thick dough, okay? A bit of flour on our board. Now the thing about this, when you're making a bread like this, is not to, not to over knead it. It's not like a, a yeast bread where you need to stretch the gluten. With this one, we want to, we want to really just um, have a lovely light sort of, not, not light and fluffy, but just not, not tough, okay? Put that there and just run that around there just to, just gently okay into like a kind of a round okay onto a lightly buttered flatten that down just take a just cross that across there like that there that's to keep the fairies out okay dust it with more we put more of our, our lovely flour don't want to waste any of this okay this stage, I've got my oven up, cranked up pretty high, so it's at 210 at the moment. So I'm going to put the, put the bread into the oven, 210, for about, roughly about 15 minutes. You'll see it rising. After 50 minutes, I'm going to lower it down to 150 and give it about half an hour until the bottom sounds hollow and the fairies have disappeared. Okay. Okay, the bread is ready. 
So it's risen up lovely here. So if I, and then just to check if it's ready or not, you just go like that there. Nice and hollow. There we are. And uh, so that's that's our. Uh, so we've got the we've got the butter that was made from the made from the cream. The buttermilk went into the bread, uh, into the flour from Richard Kane from uh, his Heritage Wheat. Um, got a wee bit of dams and jam there that I used for the Queen of Puddings, but also um, dams and jam. Got the dams and here. I normally work with. I used to sit and uh, sort of take the stone out of it, and then somebody said to me, "No, don't do that." So 500 grams of fruit, about 300 grams of uh, sugar. I don't like too sweet a jam. Some do, do equal parts, but I quite like it um, like that. A wee bit of pectin, and then just boil them up. And uh, we get a wee saucer in the freezer when it's set, you know it's ready, or 105 if you've got a thermometer. And then let it sit a minute, and then just take a pea scoop, and that'll get all your, your seeds out. So that's it. So that's your dams and jam. Bread with uh, honey, local honey, We've made the homemade buttermilk with the local cream. We've got a uh, Richard's flour that we ground, um, or the wheat that was ground in, and, and that's, that's pretty much it, and a wee bit of mustard and sea salt. Perfect, smells great, bit of butter, bit of jam. What more would you need? 1921 on a plate, really, because this is everything that would have been happening a century ago. No, no adulteration, just all about the beautiful ingredients from Taste Causeway.